Hey everyone, welcome back. We are at 14 April 2022. And today let's talk about some of this GPU stuff again. <laughs> stuff, I corrected myself. EVGA officially announces RTX 30 series restock for most high-end models. Slowly approaching more sane prices. All right, so what's going on? EVGA appears to have received a boatload of GPU shipments. With enough volume for the company to announce full availability for a number of its RTX 30 series products. Pricing is also decent, eh, with most cards being available at close to MSRP levels. Close is the key word. It is not an MSRP levels. I'm telling you guys, if you want to buy this stuff for crypto money, don't do it. Hold the line. Wait, wait, wait. You will reward yourself. If you really want graphics cards, just wait. They're getting nervous now. Middle of April. Wait two more weeks. We'll probably be at MSRP and below in two weeks. Why do I say that? First of all, GPUs are available. They just said so. They got a boatload. They need to move these things because they already paid for them. They paid their um, wholesale price. Now they need to unload it, get their money back because they've been sitting on a container ship for probably the past year off the coast of Long Beach. And now they need to move these things. What does that mean? Supply, demand, economics 101. I know they don't teach common sense business in school anymore. Uh, but that's how it works. Also, you have lots of these resellers, these guys running retail bots. They get these things, MSRP, using their cute little retail bots. They stick them out in StockX, eBay, and they have their whole living room in their basement full of these GPUs they got, uh, like 20 on one, one, um, one, one drop, you know? And they're going to get nervous because they bought them at MSRP, and now things are dropping to MSRP. They're going to want to move these things. And eBay charges a 14% fee to dump these things. StockX charges probably similar. I can't remember. But they're getting nervous. They're going to drop their prices because they know it's a race to the bottom. Uh, they're going to be competing with other resellers and other people dumping their cards. And a lot of guys dumping their rigs because they just don't see the profitability in GPU mining coming up with this delayed Ethereum merge. They're getting nervous. They may be buying ASICs and CPU miners. I don't know. So you're going to have all these GPUs on the market. The price is going to nosedive. If you buy now, you're foolish. Wait, wait. So anyway, that's my advice, and that's what I'm sticking to. I like to buy an A2000. You can't even get the damn things. And they're like 700 bucks, 600 bucks, 700,000 bucks on e uh, eBay. It's like, this is ridiculous, man. I'm not paying that. I'll never get my money back on that thing, mining crypto. Oh, my God. So only a single RTX 39 SKU is available. That's all they're selling. They're also selling the 3080, uh, and they're out there. They're putting the prices down. They're getting rebates as well. Uh, EVJ's ability list at the time of this writing because this is a 3090 eyes, a bunch of th uh, 3080, 3070. Okay, there you go. For RTX 3080 eyes, EVGA is selling five total SKUs. All right, good, good for them. Uh, most of these models are liquid cold. I don't want liquid cold. The only uh, 3080 10 gigabyte model is the hydro copper variant. I don't care. I want some Founders Edition cards. But I want to be low MSRP, so eh, I'm going to wait. It's a real shame EVGA does not have mid-range cards, which arguably is what most gamers are shopping for. Why do they always focus on the gamers? Listen, listen, guys. NVIDIA made the low hash rate. Uh, they put that in place because they hate miners. They want to let gamers get cards. Now with T-Rex miner, LOL miner, cracking that LHR low hash rate code, it's okay to get some of these LHR cards if you want to. But the fact that they don't see, NVIDIA does not see, and I own stock in NVIDIA, and I'm a little irked by it, I'm down probably like 100% right now on it, but I'm irked that they don't see the business model there. Make crypto mining GPUs, dudes, because guess why? Business model. Miners buy one too many cards. Gamers typically buy one card, and they play in their basement until their eyeballs fall out, right? But the money is in the miners buying cards, man, and they're the fanboys. I don't know. I, to exclude a customer base like that just drives me bonkers, especially as a, a stock investor in NVIDIA. Oh, well. Anyway. Oh, so what are they talking about here? The most elusive cards by far seem to be NVIDIA's 3070 8 gigabyte models, which we presume have been put on the back burner by NVIDIA in favor for building the 3070 Ti, since both GPUs are made from the same GA104 die. Oh, right. Good enough. Uh, the cards to look out for, if they drop below MSRP, say you can find a 3060 Ti, 3060 Ti, whatever you want to call it. If you can find it below, let's say, is it 400 bucks, 399 is the MSRP? If you can find that puppy below that, then you're talking, okay, we're below MSRP. 
it's going to drop like a brick, man, because people are going to start dumping their GPUs. We're going to see a red again today on the crypto uh, prices. Uh, profitability on mining is kind of dropping again. So the only good thing is that the Ethereum merge has been uh, kicked down, kicked down the road a little bit further. It's not going to happen in June, but they did not say when, and they're not going to say when. They have to make sure it works. If they don't deliver a successful uh, merge, they're going to they're going to upset the current users that are doing DeFi crap, decentralized apps, or uh, whatever. And what's that other stuff? That's a scam. The NFT stuff. Yeah, they're going to upset those guys because it's a money maker. They're all written on top of that Ethereum platform using Solidity and all that yummy stuff that. You use the right blockchain. Uh, so there. That's the only good thing in GPU mining right now. I don't know. I'm not buying. I am not buying. I'm waiting until I see awesome prices. And I think, give it two weeks, we're going to see MSRP at the end of April. Summer's coming around. It's getting hotter. People don't want to run GPUs in their house because it heats their house up. Uh, even with a grow tent, trust me, yeah, it sucks. But uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? That's why maybe ASICs may be the way to go, guys. But that's another problem, acquiring those damn things because... They're mostly overseas. They want you to pay in crypto. You pay in crypto and the thing doesn't arrive or it's broken or not what you wanted. How are you going to dispute it? They got your crypto and you're like left holding an empty box full of pebbles. You know, you got to watch that too. Be careful, guys. Be careful. I know some guys are getting GPU sent to them to make reviews them on YouTube. Good for them. You know, that's great. I don't get that stuff. Uh, that's fine. But I don't, I don't trust ordering one of those from the UK or Hong Kong or wherever. I just don't want to give them crypto. 5000 bucks in crypto? How am I going to get... I can't use my credit card company to dispute that. It's gone. So, yeah, that's the only thing I don't want to do. If I'm going to buy an ASIC, it's going to be with a credit card. Uh, just my advice, just buyer, buyers, buyer beware, right? All right. Okay, that's all I got. I got another rant. Seven minutes in, seven minutes in. EVJ is talking to shells. Guys, if stuff's available, it's a supply chain model, supply, supply demand. If the stuff's on the shelves, the prices are going to drop. Add on to that, those resellers I mentioned have lots of boxes in their mom's basements and their living rooms, and they need to move this stuff because they're getting, they're getting a little nervous, you know? They're not going to make any profit on these cards, and uh, they are going to start lowballing the prices, competing with Timmy down the street who's trying to sell his used GPUs. They're going to be fighting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a buyer's market, baby. It, just wait. Just wait. If I'm wrong, so what? <laughs> what can it do? What harm can it do to wait? If you buy an expensive card now... You're not going to ROI at any time. I think they're going to merge. They'll probably merge by the end of the third quarter. Who knows? We'll see how that goes. But, yeah, just wait. Just wait. Look at our little options. And just keep mining with what you got. Try to be efficient. Get the latest software miners that run more efficient. Uh, get better mega hash. Break that, that horrid LHR low hash rate algorithm. Just, they break it, and that's beautiful. You get more mega hash out of your cards. And uh, that's the best way to go. That's like getting a free card almost. If you have enough cards and they're LHR turds and you uh, improve the efficiency on them, power and or uh, mega hash rate on Ethereum, man, you almost got a free card there. That's the way I look at it. All right, guys, that's all I got. A little rant there today. I just saw this and I went, man, it's good for buyers. And it's just a sign that stuff is going to really drop if they're getting – if they're getting uh, – boatloads of gpus man that just means the ships are allowed to dock in the long beach port and they're unloading them and they've been sitting out there for uh, months uh yeah they gotta they gotta dump these things fast and that's why you're seeing rebates and stuff so we'll see keep an eye on it bookmark your favorite gpus and uh just reload the page once a day and see if the prices are going down and new egg will show you if there's been a price correction if you just stick stuff in your cart and save for later and you go back and look at that, you'll see if there's been a price adjustment down, whether it's in stock or out of stock, right? So there you go, my little tip. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later. Let me know what you think. Are you buying GPUs? And if so, give me a good reason why. <laughs> give me a good reason why you're buying a GPU. You can't even resell the damn things if you bought them now. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll maybe get credit card points, but other than that, you're not going to make any money. All right, another, just another opinion. All my opinion, not financial advice. Go for two great things. Keep mining. Keep those miners going. Keep those GPUs burning, those CPUs burning, and uh, get as much money as you can. That, and stack coins. I am stacking coins like nobody's business. So that's the way we're going to roll from now on. All right. Talk to you later, boys.